As the weather warms up and vaccination numbers rise, more and more people are getting back to somewhat normal activities. But as restaurants try to scale back up to meet demands, they're finding the workforce might not be there. Will Uick explains. There's a lot of up and down and figuring it out. Like most in the restaurant industry, it's been a struggle for Joey Fredrickson at Society Lounge in Sixth City amid the changes of the pandemic. It was a challenge, but, you know, we tackled it. I think the biggest challenge was just figuring out, like, what to do. But now, even as business starts to pick back up, there's a new challenge on his plate. The staffing is difficult. I never really had a budget to spend on hiring. Now we're doing like 100 a week on multiple roles. And it's not just a problem for Joey. A quick search on Indeed shows within just 25 miles of Cleveland, restaurants are looking to fill more than 3,200 jobs. It's an issue Joey believes could be tied to some people holding out hope for their old jobs to return, or possibly the boosted unemployment money. It definitely doesn't put the urgency out there. You know, there's a sense of urgency that happens when people need jobs, and that's just not going to be there. On a larger scale, the country's unemployment claims are back up this week and higher than economists expected at 744,000, with more than 18 million Americans remaining on some form of unemployment. But Joey says if he were to try and raise wages to compete with it. People have a set expectation of what a burger should cost, what a beer should cost, like that number. If, if we increase that number of what they make, we'll have to increase that number of what a restaurant charges. So for now, he'll just keep posting his jobs and crossing his fingers, hoping soon the right people will see it and help the restaurants meet the resurgence in demand. You know, if I got to keep spending money on Indeed posts and Craigslist ads and throwing things on Facebook, just, you know, you can't get a home run if you don't swing. I'm just going to keep on swinging. To deal with the trouble hiring of the short staff currently, Six City is only open several days a week. But Laura, they plan on going seven days a week beginning on the 22nd. And Joey said if he has to get behind the grill and cook himself, that's what they'll do. He wants to get the job done. Now, Will, is this a problem for restaurants yeah. or is this something that others are seeing? Is it widespread? It is widespread, Laura. We've heard from several different businesses. You think right now as the weather's turning, a lot of landscaping companies are getting back into their jobs and their routine, and they are struggling to find people as well. So this is something that's really hitting several different aspects and businesses right now. Hopefully things turn around. All right, Will Uick, thank you so much.